DNF this year. And so Kevin Kogan. Oh, and we have the leader spinning. Mario Andretti hits the wall in turn number one. What happened? Did he, did he bump something or did the wing just fly off? No, I think he possibly might have uh, blown a tire. It was right here on the front stretch. Uh, and I think what happened is when it did, it took the rear wing off of it. Uh, it uh, looked to be a very, very nasty accident. Uh, could have unfolded, but as it looks like, uh, Mario has uh, you know, backed in very hard into the first turn wall and gone down into the inside of turn one now. Boy, it's another a, tough break for Mario. This guy is... <laughs> he's unbelievably talented as a race driver but things just seem to happen to him and they are attending to him down there the medical the Horton medical team safety team is there over Mario finding out if he is okay meanwhile this creates another caution and it allows the others to come in for a pit stop among them Roberto Guerrero and Michael and Still working on Guerrero's car. Now he begins to move away also. Well, a tough break from Mario Andretti. You can see that he is still in the car. And they are trying to remove him from the cockpit. What happened apparently was a tire blew on the machine and knocked the rear wing off. And when you have no rear wing, you just can't hardly control the car. Let's Maybe take a look at it. we can see it here because... Uh down here on the inside of the track and there was a loud bang that we could hear from up here in the booth. Oh, no, it's a rear wing just comes right off the car and uh, jumps up in the air. And as you can see, Mario's got his hands full and it takes a lot of the downforce off the back of the car. And you can see where he's gonna make his initial impact here. Very hard into the outside uh, retaining wall. Possibly have stunned him or, or knocked him out. He's sliding along here and it does end up coming to rest uh, against the inside uh, concrete wall. So it was not a problem with the tire at all but rather just a rear wing blew off. Here it is again. It's a very, very loud bang as it did, which uh, led, led me to believe that the, it had, uh, you know, blown tire, but it did, it did. It broke uh, the rear wing right off the, you can see that the um, mounting uh, bracket is still there. Everything, in fact, that's uh, Fabrizio Barbaza that ran over some of the debris, and it's right there in front of Ari Leindijk, and he does a good job of, of missing that. In fact, Mario had just uh, lapped uh, Ari again, uh, I think may putting maybe two laps down at that point uh, before uh, the accident happened. So Mario Andretti, while leading the race, crashes in the first turn. Let's go to Gary. We are standing here just inside this brand new concrete retaining wall where the car has come to a rest. They're now extricating Mario. They first put the backboard into the cockpit, which has been specially designed to slide in between the back of the cockpit and the driver. They now have another longer brace on top of the car. They have extricated Mario. He's now lying prone on that. The ambulance is here. One of the uh, concerned spectators at this point is one of his car owners, Paul Newman, who was here this weekend, ran down here. He was one of the first to the crash scene. And as you can see, they now have him on the gurney. The ambulance is standing by. And our view now has been obscured somewhat by some of the crew members who are also standing by. They are now locking the neck, which is customary in any type of a, an injury of this nature. He is talking to uh, the rescue squad right now. So Mario uh, making a fist with both hands. He has been asked to do that by the medical crew. They are checking to see if there's any other damage. He is moving his legs on his own, and he is able to talk. So right now he is conscious, he is talking, he is moving obviously in a crash like this are some very good signs. The Horton medical crew is here. They have a medical facility, the finest of any medical facility of its nature in the country, standing by in the infield. We'll be taken there first, we would uh, suspect, and it need be transferred on downtown. So that is the situation right now inside the first turn against this new concrete retaining wall as the attention continues to be centered around Mario Andretti. Yeah, we had not mentioned the uh, new inner retaining wall that uh, Mario struck. Secondly, uh, the uh, Milwaukee Mile has always had a steel guardrail on the inside all the way around it, but they did replace that with the concrete barriers in the corners just earlier this week, and certainly it was uh, something that Mario 
came in contact with, but I think everybody agrees that these concrete barriers are much safer than the steel guardrails. Well, they certainly are. The, the steel Armco guardrails uh, have a habit if you get into them, uh, other than perfectly in, in this condition with uh, Mario and that speed he was running, it probably wouldn't have made any difference. He backed into it, but if you catch it a certain way, It'll grab the wheels and tires and uh, suspension pieces. It can actually tear the car up worse and, and even uh, make it to where you can do uh, you know, damage to the driver because of that more than concrete. It, doesn't, it lets the car absorb the impact that it is supposed to do so that uh, it uh, you know, does its job. I think that it's a, a big improvement here for the Wisconsin State Fair. And, and to do that and to make this a, a finer race facility. Well, we must pay tribute to the Horton safety team. They are among the most professional rescuers in the in the business. Steve um, Edwards is the safety director for championship auto racing teams. Dr. Steve Alvey is the physician. And they are always very uh, prompt on the scene of any accident involving an Indy car. Bobby Rahal, we understand, is also in the pits as they're changing the rubber all around that car and putting the final drops of fuel in probably because we only have 45 more laps to go and it looks as though he's going with another fresh set of tires i can see the sticker still on the right rear in fact you can see him now on all the tires that he's come in to go for a, a fresh set of tires and uh and try to go out and, and run uh you know mike landry down who is leading right now and i'm sure that it's uh, very much on his mind as to how his father is but uh being a, uh, a son myself of a, of a race driver, I think that uh, you know he realizes that it's part of the, the uh, hazard, and that I'm sure his crew will radio him that uh, Mario has been uh, taken out of the car. And as soon as we know something, or through the crew, they will get it to Michael so he can uh, more or less get back to the point of hand, and that's uh, driving his, uh, his Craco special. Well, it certainly is uh, of utmost importance for him to keep his mind on the race itself because he is leading and in a very good position to walk off as the winner of this 200-miler here in Milwaukee. Back after this. The pace begins to quicken, and the green...